I wrote it on. Did, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I just thought it would be fun again. Uh, we, uh, yeah. we have two marks. Uh This guy, I, I, I saw his first show here and it was really good. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the stage, Justin Saw. <laughs> It's, uh, it's kind of funny because I'm not actually a comedian, I'm just a talking, novelty bobblehead of Seth Rogen. And, uh, which is kind of fitting because it was clearly a bearded Jonah Hill before me. And, and it's, it's funny how I found out that I had a giant head. I was out in town one night sober for some fucking ridiculous reason. And uh, four pretty attractive girls that approached me and said, Oh, can we get a photo with you? And I've gone, yeah, fucking right on, no worries. And, uh, and they've all taken a photo with me individually, which was kind of weird. And uh, after they were done, they've sort of scattered into their little group and started giggling. And I was like, something's not fucking right here. So I've approached them, I've gone, what's so funny? And they're like, oh, we're on a treasure hunt for St. Patrick's Day. Do you want to know what you're wearing on our list? And as they've said that, one of the girls pulled a list out of their handbag and crossed off, find a guy with a giant head. <laughs> And the two mates I've taken into town that were drunk as fuck have fallen on the floor laughing at me. And I just died inside, just a considerable amount. And uh, so I recently became uh, unemployed, actually. Um, I was fired from my last job. Um, apparently, sexual harassment is a serious thing. Uh, I didn't realise that. I thought it was a myth like, to stop us from telling them to get back into the kitchen. But apparently, it's, it's actually taken seriously. And uh, you shouldn't email dick pics to the new girls that start at work because they will get upset. And one of the biggest things I learned from unemployment, like first day into being unemployed, I was sitting at home like, trying to find a new job. And I realised that. There is a limit to the amount of times that you can jack off in one day. I didn't think that that was such a thing. Like, I'm sitting on seat just trying to focus on fucking finding a job, and I'm like, data analyst, it's got aim on the title. And within seconds, I'm back on the Zoom you know, it's fucked. Just watching a horse just destroy some girl, who obviously was unemployed as well. So, and what, another thing I realised as well from being unemployed is that whoever developed the first web browser that included the option to delete your browsing history must have had jacking off in mind. Because there is no one of my family and friends that I ever want to see what I've been looking at on fucking Mozilla. It's just that's never going to happen because they won't talk to me anymore. And I'll probably go to jail. <laughs> exactly what's going to happen. I was at the gym the other day, which is obviously a lie. And I was at the gym and uh, what I realised about being at the gym is if I spent as much time working out like a motherfucker as I do trying to get the perfect angle to stare at the girls on the treadmill, I'd be a lot fitter than I am right now. Like I'm just finding the perfect angle. My mate who I'm working out with or supposed to be walks up to me and he goes, are you done yet? I'm like, Oh, uh, almost. If she ups her speed, I can't be too far away. <laughs> but uh, I've, got, I've got some tips for you tonight, some things that I've learnt in, in my time uh, that I want to pass on to everyone. The first one that I want to give you is, is for the girls, and that's if, you know, you use fake tan, which sometimes, you know, pays off for you, but if you're using enough fake tan that I can smell you from one character right on the train, that's way too fucking much, let's be serious. That is just a, And you're leaving an imprint in every chair that you sit in. And, like, if you used to be pasty and, and hideous, but now you're darker than the inside of a coffin on a moonless night, you're using just way too much fake tan. Just an awful amount. Second tip I've got is... Uh, if, if you know, you're with a girl and, and you're around her house and she says, oh, we can't have sex tonight, I've got my period. The incorrect response to that is, don't worry, baby, we'll just put a towel down. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, that won't get a good response. <laughs> the next tip I've got is, and this is one of the biggest ones, is if a girl says to you, come over and watch movies, or agrees to come over and watch movies with you, you are at the very least getting a gobby. You are just, like, that is like, you don't say it, no one knows it, but if that's agreed upon, you are at least getting your dick sucked. There is no choice. <laughs> However, on the flip side of that, if she disagrees to that and says, let's go out for dinner, I strongly advise, strongly advise not to try and finger bang her in Cafe Aqua. <laughs> on the night you meet her parents. 
and if by some sheer miracle that that's what she's into, she's a bit kinky, she likes to be finger banged while her parents are sitting across the table, don't keep going and stare her dad in the eyes and say, she's pretty fucking tired. <laughs> Thanks a lot guys, I'm Justin.